Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and I am late. Uh, unfortunately, there was an accident and that held up traffic a lot. And then a certain puppy decided to take 20 minutes to find the perfect spot to do his business, which also didn't help at all. He's still cute, though. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm making it. <laughs> Hello, beach duck. All right, let me... I don't think anybody's been on in a while, so yeah, I, I don't think most of my farms are going to be producing much, although I do need to really? come in. Really? Because mine are, like, all, like, up again. Uh... Yeah, probably from when I was on here Tuesday. Oh. Running around, loading Maybe. up various parts of the your island as I neared. At least the wandering idiot didn't spawn over there and not, uh, <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, okay, let, let, me, let me finish, uh... I did a little little bit of session AFK with the uh, the zombie piglins to try to get some more gold because I need I need the things that gold buys nether brick and that sort of thing. Uh, let me let me run around and try to collect myself because. Like, like I said in the open, uh, we got off to a really late start, um, because traffic was special. Yeah, you know, every time, every time I see stuff like that, I, I keep marveling at how people people can drive through traffic like that and still want flying cars, given the way, <laughs> given the way that people can't handle, you know, driving in two axes all that well. Yeah, sure, let's let's throw a Z axis in there. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? I'd do great. It's all the other people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's the difference between an idiot and a maniac? The idiot's the one driving too slow in front of you, and the maniac's the one passing you both? Wait! What? Where did my villagers go? <laughs> I just lost three more? To what? The pandemic. Where did they go? You. You're the RDM. Where did my people go? Laid off. Un under, uh, performing. Ah. Oh, are you... I'm not going to have a village anymore at this rate. <laughs> I, I, you, you, you're, you're at least the one I need. Uh, well, no, I needed the other ones because that there, there's my carrot supply. Uh, <laughs> duck, out. come on. Why you guys got to do this to me? The, 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 why? Did you did you kick the third mason out of the trade union or something? Like I And this time there was Huh? I And this time there there shouldn't have been any cuz the only the only bad guy that could have spawned the last time that could have escaped out of there uh would have been a spider. And since I had that set on a mode that doesn't spawn spiders, that shouldn't have been a problem. The rest of the island's a mushroom biome. Where, like, where? Why? Oh. They all named? Uh, no, they're not. But that shouldn't. Shouldn't. 
All right. Uh, three, four, five, six, twelve. I was gonna say I need thirteen names, but maybe I'll just name them all after the uh, dwarves from the Hobbit. Be a good one. Ah, oh, that like. I, I'm sorry. That 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 just that that broke my brain there for a minute. <sighs> Anonjunior.exe is frozen. Please wait. Where's the closest place lightning can strike to him? Um, the roof that is far enough away. And those guys are under where the island would have been above it anyway. So they had both an island and a roof above them. And if they had been struck by lightning, they would have been turned into witches, not evaporated. I'm not asking if they got struck. I'm asking how close it could have been struck. Because they'll still take damage if it hits the ground near them. Uh, again, the island is above them, and there's another roof above them. Fair for, enough. for just such an occasion. Ballin, and Dwallin, and Keely, and Feely. Well, for, for, first, first I gotta get more, uh, I, I gotta get more villagers going. Gonna have to break out. And Nori, and Dory, and Ori. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. Let, let me get back to my original uh, getting all and the things different. that gold buys. Ah, that, that just... And I also found a quicker way to get all the sheep I need to fill that pen. Uh, cool. I'll take care of that in a minute, too. You've already got both your sheep, right? I asked. Yep, I do. I have four sheep. Nice. How many? And one cow. Are Are you working on the full the full uh, grouping for the challenge? The um, animal farm challenge. Sure. Because that's. Uh, I thought I was working on the colors. Oh yeah. Well, you need the colors for the wool collector. And for Animal Farm, which, oh, that's right, because I completed it. It's not there anymore. Uh, I want to say it was eight, eight sheep, eight cows, eight pigs, and 16 chickens within a 40-block radius. Much. Hmm? I don't have that much. Hi, guys. I hear you like gold. I have some piggies, though. How many pigs? Uh, some. <laughs> some. Some. I forgot that I left all this stuff over here, too. Now I'm wondering if I got enough inventory space. I keep forgetting to bring a, um... Oh, <laughs> I, I also forgot to turn my volume back up because uh, the the zombie pigmen get kind of loud, and I didn't want trouble looking at my headphones weirdly. Or weirder than he normally does. Yeah, I was about to say, um... <coughs> Come on, guys. Finish your trading now. <sighs> Say the magic words. Faster. No, look at your station. They don't have a station. They're the pigmen. Oh, never mind. They, they pick up the gold, 
they do an appraise check, and then they toss a random item down. That is about how that works. Mm hmm That is exactly how that works. And they're overflowing the hopper now, too. Is that it? Are you guys done? Man, they went through that stack of gold. <laughs> they went quick. Uh, okay. Do I need wool or colored sheeps for the challenge? Um, For the wool collector, you need the wool. For the animal farm, you just need the sheep. So if you have one sheep of each color, you'll be able to get both of them. I need two of each color. Why do you need two? Oh, are you looking at the wool requirement? Wool collector, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I probably shouldn't be bouncing. Oh! Oh, I forgot about that. The uh, Striders... Yeah have a random chance to spawn with a strider riding a strider. Oh, that's cute. Uh, what's even cuter is that you can even get an even rarer chance to have a strider riding a strider riding a strider riding a strider. Oh, that is unique. <laughs> it's something. We, we went from cute to unique. <laughs> I guess I did jazz those up. Never mind then. Uh, I'll take my little three minute fire potion back with me then. <laughs> I have to cook cactus to make green, right? Yep. Do you have all the other colored dyes? I don't know yet. Well, if you got lapis, you've got the blue. I've got red, orange, yellow. I don't want to hear you guys. You let three people walk out. <laughs> Do I need to start doing roll call every time I log in? Okay, Musketeers. Count off. Never mind. Kids ask your parents. <laughs> they know who the Musketeers are. Musketeers are still a thing. Are they? Yeah. Okay. I mean, look, I, I already had to tell somebody that I'm trying to find a tip for a soldering iron that I bought from the Radio Shack that was down the road from Circuit City. And I think there were very many words that, that made people go, huh? What, what is the circuit city of which you speak? <laughs> okay, where am I at? You're at your island. Okay. Red, orange, yellow, green, light green, 
blue. Do, do you need me to stare blue, at the uh, color list? Black, white, uh, purple, magenta. What one am I missing? You got white? Mm hmm. Light gray? Uh, do I have light gray or regular gray? I have regular gray. Okay, you mix that with white and you'll get light gray. Okay. Gotta figure out how in the world to get magenta. Uh, the lilacs will give you magenta. Gotta figure out how to get a lilac. Hang on. Uh, what else do you need? Uh, I'm checking. Purple. Um, I don't remember what I got the purple out of. Where did I get the purple? I think it was from one of the other two high. Or no, uh, I mi I, Hang on. Why? Why am I? Why am I puzzling this over when I get a graphic that I use to reference all this? Because short-term memory, something or other. Red and blue gets you purple. That's where I got all the ah, purple okay. from. I need magenta, pink. Oh, I forgot about cyan. Yep, that's uh, green and blue. You said red and which one? Uh, red and blue for purple. Oh, brown. But cocoa beans make brown, right? Yep, cocoa beans make brown. Which I think you've already got a farm for. Yep. Here's my browns. What else you got? Purple. So you got white, light gray, Where's my gray, cyan. black. Hold on. Oh. Magenta was purple and white? Uh, magenta is purple and pink. Or the too high lilac that I was going to run over to you. Nope, I got pink. Well, if you got pink and purple, you can make magenta. Does redstone count as a color? No, redstone does not count as a color. Would you tell me if it did? Yes, I would tell you if it did. Okay. I mean, that is a fair question, so I'm not going to, you know, I want to get mad about that, but I can't. <laughs> All right, red, orange, yellow, green, light green. I need green. to get some more lights down here. The more I build that, uh, <laughs> the more I build that island, the less light gets down to this lower level here. I, I just noticed in the monitor that uh, the it's it's very dark over here. I'm gonna have to do something about that. You get the light green or lime green. You got a limey? I need another red. All right. I don't remember how to make that. Oh, wait. No, I can get that. I take the this, right? You can use rose bushes. You can use beetroots. Beetroots? For what? For red. Really? Yeah. You can make red dye out of beetroot. Thank goodness. Useful for something. <laughs> I 
You. And then you make you. There. You it's a couple of the, it's a couple of the two high bushes. If you bone meal them, it'll give you another one. So that's four colors okay. taken care of whenever you need more. Just literally throw some bone meal at it. Cool. I still feel like I'm missing some colors. Three, four. There's 16 colors. Nope, I got him. Okay. Good deed accomplished. Thank you. I can go put the purple <laughs> the purple dye away. <laughs> There's so much purple dye, and I have no 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 idea why. I need to start doing something with all these fire resistance potions I keep getting from the um, pigmen. I might start having to dispose of them. I s I'm not equipped with uh, I, don't, I don't have that much storage. Now, let me go get, uh, <laughs> let me go solve my sheep problem. Because I was sitting there getting ready to go, man, I got to take all that time to breed those guys up. And then I remembered, uh, turning in the wool collector gets you a, sh a sheep. Um, my, my wool farm's already backed up. I need to, <laughs> uh, that, that is actually, that's what I need to be working on today. I need to be working on that. So, I got a stack of each. I can go Island Challenges Wool Collector. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you can do it multiple six, times? Seven. Yep. Oh, I need more of each. Oh, if only I had more of each. Okay. Six, seven. Oh. Why does it give you a sheep if you finish the challenge? You don't need one. In case you need more sheep. Who doesn't need more sheep? But see, aforementioned, if you finish the challenge. Oh, look at that. I got eight sheep spawn egg. I needed the eight sheep, too. Why is all the brown wool backed up in the hopper? Never mind. I, I don't want to know. I mean, I kind of do, but I don't. Let me go put this away because I was gonna need to do I was gonna need to do a bunch of this anyway. I wanted to move I wanted to get some wool over here in storage and fill up at least you know that row. Uh, light gray gray black. Brown, I, I will probably have an overabundance of. Yeah, I was also going to do the same for the carpet. Orange. What, what's up with the yellow? Is yellow underperforming? Do do I need to do I need to talk with Mr. Yellow? I'll also put the red dye. And oh, there we go. Pink wool's running a little short, too. Hmm. The 
my sheep are underperforming. You talk to them about that? Mm-hmm. I did a thing. Ooh. Nice. And I got another rose bush and another flower bush, which again, presumably you don't need because you already accomplished this feat. Not necessarily, because there's other ways to get the, the different dyes. It doesn't have to be through those. You, you can uh, you can manage that through a multitude of means. Like, I got all the red dye from the poppies out of my iron farm before the challenge gave me the rose bushes I needed to get the flower farm going. Ah. What'd that unlock for me? I can now do horsing around. Mm -hmm. Three Quite by it. two, 32 hay blocks, eight leads, ouch. Carrot on a stick and shears. I have already completed that one. Okay. Yeah, I get to farming that hay. Oh, I need name tags. I almost want to set up, um, not a Fletcher. Um, Shoot. The dude with the banner. Uh... Shepherd. The dude with the banner? Ah. Why, why, why did my... I don't know. Never mind. I'm not going to ask those questions. The, this is clearly the, the state of mind I'm in. <laughs> Ooh. What? Oh, I still gotta do the monster farm one. Yep. And the nether portal. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yep, yours is the only island not, uh... Just kind of chilling there. What do you mean, just kind of chilling? Well, you have the default island in the nether. Oh. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. It's right out my back window. Oh, are they as close to each other as our existing yep. islands are? Yep. Hmm. And since I built my Closer. nether portal right on the border of our islands, it put my nether portal on that side right on the border of our islands. Oh. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you don't have to worry about the neighbor that didn't cast-proof his island properly. Oh. Good, because I don't think I'd deal well with that neighbor. No, it's not Arcadius, though. Really? Mm-hmm. I would not have pegged him for that. <laughs> Why you guys sound so surprised? <laughs> Gee, I don't know why we'd have to sound so surprised about that. Hmm, let me think. I, I, I don't know. It's I bottom do, I, slabs that don't spawn things, right? That is correct. I'm putting a roof over my farms. Oh. <laughs> Actually, how many more emeralds can I get out of you?
now. Wait a second. Never mind. Never mind. I got this. Surely these guys will be good for a round of trading real quick. A late night. A little late night trade. Hi. Hello. That's a yes. Hi. That's a yes. Perfect. All right, get ready for time codes, and Arcadius, be prepared to do a clip. Because I have a question to ask you guys, and hopefully Beach Duck, if she's still there. Although, g given the connection, I, I give that one even odds. Oh wait, the six second delay to find out if Beach Duck really is in fact actually there. <laughs> Maybe. Hello. No. Beach duck. Are you there? Apparently not. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, so get ready for the time codes and to do a clip. Assuming this will fit in a clip length. How uh, do I see the time code? Uh, should be on the stream monitor. Although I don't know if it. I, I always apparently it's three three one six. Hmm. It it's on the mod screen. I think it's also on the regular one, but I can't remember. I'm um, in the regular right now because I can't clip from mod. Oh, so really? I can't figure out how. I can't figure out how. But uh, on standard viewing, it's right below where Anon keeps his face. I don't have a time thingy there. You might have uh, to move your mouse over it. Alt You're X to right. clip stuff. Okay. 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 All right. So, here is the question. The, the Daily Tech News Show is looking for 30-second clips from the audience for tech recommendations for Christmas. Uh, I've given a great many tech gifts over the years, and... The conundrum I'm having is most of those I gave because I know the people that they're going to. And I can't separate what is a good tech gift recommendation for what happened to have been a good tech gift recommendation for the people to whom they were given. Does that make sense? Oh. So... Out, uh, so out of the tech gifts that you guys have received, what would you recommend people give for tech Christmas gifts? Like, I, I, I'll, I'm having enough fun with my Kindle Fire Pro that I all, or the, the 10 inch Kindle Fire Pro, because that, that part is a, a big part of the, yeah, that makes a difference. Um, come on, into the hole. Uh, 
But there is a caveat to that. Uh, it, I am only enjoying it because I sideloaded the Google Play Store. And that's not exactly something that I would recommend for other people. Like, I, I would happily do that for a Kindle Fire I was going to give to Arcadius or Mr. Beach Duck. Um, or, you know, something like that. On the other hand, the Kindle Paperwhite seems to have been a really good gift. Uh, like, Rayest, I know you have my old Kindle Paperwhite and have mm -hmm. been enjoying that. Yep. Uh, Beach Duck got a Kindle Paperwhite and has been getting a lot of use out of that. Mm hmm. So is that something that you would say as a general recommendation? Yes. Pink Geek! Hi, Pink Geek. You, you can answer these questions, too. I, I don't know if you caught that part. The Daily Tech News Show is asking for tech gift recommendations. They, they would like audience members to record a 30-second clip giving a tech gift recommendation. And uh, I was asking you guys and Arcadius and Rayest about the tech gifts you have received because I'm having a little trouble separating what was a good tech gift for you guys and what is just a good tech gift. So, you know, like... The, the Kindle Paperwhite definitely seems to be one that is uh, a good general gift. You know, per, per what? What are you doing? Get in the hole. Um, and, and so I guess the, the next question is, is, you know, like, what, what, what about the, the earbuds pink geek are those ones that you would say is a good general recommendation or you know that was just a good gift for you uh you know so it's all those kinds of questions and figuring that stuff i break out. my headphones all the time and lose them <laughs> and yeah so headphones headphones are an amazing gift wired wireless and even at the wireless is it the earbud types or the ones that that you can at least you know uh run a lanyard across the back of your neck so you don't lose them quite as badly or as much i like those ones personally but that's also because i am prone to the losing of things I saw somebody on Twitter say that, you know, I, I don't understand people complaining about losing their AirPods. I have the same set. Sure, I replaced the right one three times and the left one twice, but it's the same set. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do like wireless for most of my stuff. I have a strong tendency to get tangled in wires. That's why my in-ear monitors go around the back. Not just because it stylishly, stylishly keeps them out of the way. Uh, because I don't get tangled up in them. <laughs> oh, oh, you're talking about the, the uh, bone conduction headset that I got for Mr. Beach Duck. You'd say that is a, as a good general gift? Okay. Yeah, I do. I have I have that very same set that I use at work. My only problem is the right ear went out. <laughs> it's a good thing I mostly listen to podcasts and audiobooks. <laughs> Oh, if it's too loud, can you can you still hear what he's listening to? I never even thought about that. Yeah, but it's still better than uh, <laughs> other yeah. alternatives. Well, that that is fair too. Bluetooth speakers. How many Bluetooth speakers have we gotten for different people, and they have been True. super useful. Okay. 
Um, little ones like that bubble that our aunt gave us, or big ones, or both. Like I, both. I, wait, I literally well, use the bubble today. <laughs> when, when, when I when I say the big ones, I'm not talking about the ones that double for a late '80s boombox, like uh, some some people have. Um. No, I think both because it kind of depends on you know the scenario, what you need. But I've I've very much enjoyed those and made a lot of use out of them. Okay. Comfy chair. Yes. Anyone who sits at a computer or a station <laughs> or a console needs a comfy chair. Uh, as somebody who received a new chair recently, I, I definitely appreciated that as a gift as well. Uh... uh Oh, of course I don't have it handy. You're talking about the brick ones that are like maybe about yay big, about yay tall, where um, it, it's big, it's small enough to still fit in a backpack, but big enough to have a little, a little more oomph behind it. I mean, I feel like we're edging it at 20 questions. Is it as big as a bird box? Uh, <laughs> Oh, the joys of delay. Oh, what do I need to get the second mushroom? I need... Because I, I need at least two to get those guys, uh, you know, doing their thing. Ooh, um, did they give, like, a, a budget for this? Because, um... They did not give a budget. So there is that part of it, too. Well, I'm thinking, like, uh, for someone you want to spend a little bit more on, um, like, computer glasses. Oh. Um. You mean, like, the gunners? Yeah. I, I do. I've had these. I don't even know how long I've had these. They are awesome. Uh, Arcadius has them, too. Uh, Pink Geek, when you say headset, are you talking, like, um. Like this kind of deal where it's a, a microphone and et cetera. Uh, Cause it, it, I do, I do want to get beach duck to, uh, to play among us with us at some point, but I also need to get her a, a headset with a good mic. Matter of fact, I, I need to write that down so I don't forget it. Someone clip it. <laughs> the whole point of having a dry erase notebook is so that you 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 can just jot down quick notes. And all my dry erase notebook pages are full of notes that I keep needing to do something with and forgot about. Oh. Because of course, because of course. All right. I wonder how many. I wonder how fast Top Chef. Uh... So cake's gonna be. Oh no! Not just the cake. I'm gonna be short a lot of the fish. Oh. Alright, well, if I can get at least one more. Alright. Let's see. Chair, definitely. Um, some other general... I mean, if they're a computer gamer, I mean, a new mouse, new keyboard, accessories like keyboard caps. Okay. Like, stuff to either upgrade the existing gear or deck it out a little bit. I mean, that's never gonna go bad okay yeah yeah beach duck mice are usually good especially especially when they get borrowed 
from, <laughs> from certain individuals. <laughs> Sorry. Did I say the quiet part out loud? Ew. <laughs> so we got headsets and, and, and Bluetooth speakers. Now, <sighs> headsets are one of the weird ones where I got to... Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I bet you don't know. And, and he, here's where here's where the other part of it comes in, though. Um, needs to be just a smidge more. Uh, more than just buy a mouse, because uh, I'm pretty sure that the the non tech are going to be looking Look, looking around going, uh, there's 832 variety of mice, and that's just on page one of Amazon. Uh, <laughs> so, I, you know, you, you guys have had a, a wide variety of them. Uh, if you were to make a general recommendation, like, would you say Bluetooth, uh, standard wireless, wired, uh, mm -hmm. general because I know when we get to gaming, we're, we're talking wired, full stop. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> there, there, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Mm -hmm. Um, In general, I would say wire, like if it, it, for everything except a gamer, I like using mm -hmm. a wireless with a very, very, very short dong dongle. Don't, don't get the one with the giant stick that's coming out because you'll break it off into your device. <laughs> That 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 sounds not oddly smoking specific. from experience. <laughs> not, not not smoking from experience in any way, shape, or form. Um, now now again, now when, when you say when you say wireless, are we talking Bluetooth or your standard wireless? I'd say standard wireless, just because I feel like, generally speaking, you should be good to go with that. Okay. Like if you don't know and you're just making like a blind guess. Like you're probably going to be safe. Because uh, I, I was honestly expecting you, you to lean more towards the Bluetooth. Because at least with Bluetooth, it's built into your device. So you don't have to worry about losing a dongle or somebody unplugging it, mistaking it for your USB flash drive. Um, not that I've ever seen that happen. Normally, I would say that, but I'm also thinking of like, if you're the kind of person who doesn't already know the answer to these questions of like what to get, then, and you're like, I think for some people it's easier to get something that's more plug and play style. Okay. No, that's fair. That's fair. And that that's why, you know, I, I don't think anything of pairing a Bluetooth anything. Uh, but now that you mentioned that, I, I do... I do wonder about that aspect of it as a recommendation now. Although, on the other hand, once you sync it, it's done. It, it's not... It's not well, an depends, every are time... You, hmm? Are you mailing it to Grandma, or are you going over there? Well, who's Grandma? Because uh, Granny would have been just fine with that. She would have been better at it than many of her children. Truth. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know no you're not wrong about that I, 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 I do I do kind of like that that is one of Allison Sheridan's big big things uh, she gets very very mad when people go, so easy, my mother could use it, or my grandmother could use it. She's like, I am someone's grandmother, and I have been in this profession more than the person making that claim. No, but it, you also yeah. get what they're saying no, with no, it. I, I mean... I get it. I, I, also, I also find it funny. That's right. It's three wheat for a cake, not two. Who 
Because because again, get, getting back to the mice though, it, it's one of those things where I'm trying to balance the ease of just plug it in and go with not having one more thing to lose. Because like Chase. you like you mentioned, yes, you've got that dongle sticking out of the USB port, and if you forget about it, you can very easily break them. Even the low profile ones, uh, I've seen broken in a couple of. Uh, a couple of uh, of work equipment um, at a previous employer. So that that's one of the that's one of those balancing bits. But what am I missing? Oh, um, Beach Duck has our charging ports, charging <laughs> cables. Yeah, uh, squid cables. Oh my goodness! Get everyone you love. Oh, or squid cables. Of course, I don't have it handy. Like, like so far, I've been able to pull a Tom Merritt and pull examples of stuff out. Actually, like if you love someone, get them a squid cable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, those things have come so in handy in so many cases and having something that's that flexible she's talking about been... one of these guys where it has one of each type of charger on the other end of the cable um so so it's got a lightning connector a micro usb a mini usb a usb c all on the other end of the cable so that way you can charge whatever needs charging because it's going to be one of these four if it's made within the last decade if it's older than that we get other things to talk about uh like, like that at, at a certain location where both RAS and i worked that was uh i i think that's when i introduced you to those because, mm -hmm. Yeah, because we had a problem. You see, uh, some people had, some employees had eye devices. Some employees had Android devices. But people would frequently unplug the one charger to get the cable they needed. And kind of forget about, you know, plugging it back in for the other people. And so you yeah. would you would plug in your cable only to find out that it wasn't hooked up to power. And uh yeah. Uh yes, Beach Duck, they can charge fast. Um It depends on which I would ones you actually get. actually make sure like when I'm when I'm buying those, I always make sure to get one of the quick charging ones and getting a, a base that supports quick charging. Yeah. But yes, they're they're amazing. And when you have a lot of people plugging in, getting one of those bases that has dual USB ports and then yeah. the squid comes out and then you've got like two of each different kind available, that has been absolute gold many times over. Is it gold ingots to make a golden apple? Mm. Yes. Oh. Oh. That, that. That's just expensive. You only have nuggets? That's just unnecessary. I'm sorry. No, I'm about to have the bars I need anyway. Uh, they, they make those too. They they make those too, a and actually that, of course that that's more the non tech gift. Uh, Be Beach Duck has a, her own very special wine glass with a shark on it. For reasons, and hence all the shark comments. So, all right. Um, 
I think that's a perfectly good accessory for those doing <laughs> all the tech support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm short of cookie. <laughs> there you go. A gift card to someone else is tech support. <laughs> <laughs> That's the gift that just keeps on giving <laughs> to everyone. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I want to say you're wrong, but you're not necessarily wrong. I mean, I don't think you're wrong, Beach Dot. Like, key finders and stuff like that, like those kind of things that the... Oh, oh. The types of people who are using computers do tend to generally be moderately absent minded in some way or another. Uh <laughs> do, do do you really want to track down the absent minded bit? I I seem to remember a certain someone having a hook installed at work so people could you know Placed the their keys whenever they randomly came across them. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. That was one of the best ideas I ever had. I don't know. <laughs> 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 that was so functional. Oh, fitness trackers! You're talking about like the the Fitbit. The oh, that's a good one. Yeah. And I know Sarah's recommended the Fitbit Versa two. Beach Duck and I both have the Versa three, and uh, I that's definitely helped me tag you know get get a handle on the the fitness the the sleep issues because I can at least quantify how little sleep I am getting. <laughs> I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. I mean, well, no, you're supposed to do something with that information once you get it. That that that's the part that's been a little you know uh, working working on it working on it. Oh, I'm super glad to hear that you're loving it, Beach Duck. That's awesome. Yeah, that is good. That is good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back through. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back through the clip and uh, jot this down because we got the Kindles. Uh, ooh, what about tablets in general? Like, like uh, I. You're still using that Surface Pro 4 you got back when the Surface I Pro 4 was relatively loved new. My Surface Pro. <laughs> I love that thing. I mean, uh, not going to lie, that that is a bit of a pricey gift, so, you know. And Yeah, but so was my camera and I've gotten over a decade out of that. True. Uh there will probably there will to, <laughs> there will probably be some that are kind of surprised that you're still using your Surface Pro 4 except for the fact that uh that I am also still using my Surface Pro 4 although not as much not as much as I used to just because the the work I do doesn't really require that anymore when I got the Surface Pro 4 I was doing a lot more classroom teaching and it was great to have a tablet that I could put all my teaching notes on so I wasn't wrestling with the three ring binders that my compatriots were. Yeah, computers computers can be a little weighty, uh, and I'm not just talking about on the wallet either. Um, yeah, so, some of the some of the laptops and convertible laptops are a little you know that's that's getting into you really got to know who you're giving the gift to like. Uh, for what Ray S was doing, the Surface Pro 4 was very appropriate. For what Beach Duck does, uh, the convertible laptop was more appropriate. Um, and, and unless I missed my guess, you're, you're still getting pretty good use out of that. Um, and we probably should also mention the camera that you have, the, the Canon... Which Canon? Canon was Power it? Shot. Canon Power Shot. Power Shot. Uh, that that was a, a present uh, a decade ish ago. <laughs> oh, more than a decade ago. <laughs> and, and a decade ish, a decade ish. We're, we're not going to think. We're not. It's not going to change the answer, <laughs> but sure, you that makes you feel better. <laughs> it does make me feel a little better. 
But I also <laughs> literally just used it to take some pictures for some people who were getting engaged, and the pictures are beautiful. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and that, that Canon power shot is a digital SLR. Um, so that that is, you know, now now we're getting into for somebody who is at that mid-range photography need, like they're not high end I'm going to go make money off of this photography, but they're not the casual just I I want a cute picture of my dog every now and again. Uh cuz most cell phone cameras are good enough for, you know, I just want to take a quick picture of a very cute sad puppy. Um, sadly cute, cutely sad. Mm, all yeah. the same. Yeah. But you want something that's a little bit more, a little bit special. You're, you're kind of getting a little bit more into photography than that, than just the casual point and shoot. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, it's, do, it, do it, I, it was do awesome. I have, because do I it about was... have that circled? Yes, and it was because it was just enough to be able to do some of the cooler, nicer photography things, yeah. but it it's designed for someone who's not like an OMG, for lack of a better term, for real photographer. <laughs> so that me meant that it doesn't, like, I can just point and click still. It's not beyond that capability. I'm sorry, Beach Duck. I cannot gift you uh, good internet service. You'll have to write your congressman about that. Um, uh, if I could gift you that, I would gift it to myself. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, we're sticking to happy topics. Happy topics. Gift giving. Um, um, let's see. The camera was an awesome gift. Uh, my MP3 player was, but that that's a little dated. <laughs> <laughs> I used that thing for like a decade too. I still have it. Uh, yeah, I, I know I posted the photo on Twitter a while back. Uh, I'll, I'll have to dig it up when I send in my bit for a daily tech news show because that that was one of those classic MP3 players too. Like we're we're talking, it was the uh, creative. I want to say it was like the. Creative Nomad or something like that. I mean, we're 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 talking when 128 megabyte MP3 player was the hot stuff, and it had this really neat feature where you could detach the storage port and plug it into USB. Um, you know, back in my day. <laughs> Although, for that matter, I I, I think uh, Pinky really enjoyed her Zoom, even though I know there's a lot of people particularly in the tech arena, who look down on the Zune as being, you know, too little, too late. Uh, it, it was still it was still a good device. It was still a solid device. Uh, I know she had to step away for a little bit. So I, I hope she can... 512 megabytes. The Creative Muvo <laughs> N200. Oh, yeah. Look at that bit of tech history right there. And yes, yes, she still has it. She came over from around the corner to hand in hand me for purposes of the camera. God, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yeah, battery packs. Uh, especially ones with multiple, multiple ports. Uh, I, I, I've also tended towards the ones where you, you plug in uh, to the wall and it's got about eight USB ports on the other side. You know, for a very long time, we had one of those plugged in behind the couch with the USB, with, with the USB chargers sitting around somewhere around the middle of the couch. That way everybody had access. That, that worked out great. Um... And if you if you shop around, you can even get uh, table lamps that have USB chargers in the base. So you know if, if somebody's somebody's trying to set up a house or an apartment or something like that, that might not be a bad gift to give, uh, assuming they also need the lamp. Please please check with the intended recipient on that kind of stuff. Uh, otherwise, you end up with. Uh, 
ugly colored uh, drapes and things. That aren't quite gifts. <laughs> I still feel like I'm forgetting something, but I mean that that really does hit a lot of the a lot of the big ones, and obviously they're they're ones that come to mind immediately. So that 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 says something in and of itself, right there, too. Uh, I would say coffee is not technology, but uh, coffee fuels a lot of technology and technology creation. So, you know. And yes, the pumpkin spice death wish is amazing. No, you should not get that if you have caffeine sensitivity issues. <laughs> Genius. Dude, ooh, you know, that that actually, I was about to say, you know, DVDs or Blu-rays or stuff like that, but I don't, I don't, does that, A, does that qualify as a technology gift? And even then, with as many, with as many times as people are buying movies and TV on, uh, it, you know, Amazon Prime or whatever, um, it really makes you wonder if people even own DVD players anymore. Well, I, w I was just getting ready to say that because we're uh, much like much like Cord Killers, we're getting ready to go a little retro on some of what we're watching. We're gonna go wa we're we're gonna go do a watch through of um. Why, why did why did my brain just like flatline again? Farscape, no. Farscape. Um, um, yep. And, and so I, I started thinking about the problem is uh, the media center PC that we were going to use to as our DVD player is not booting up. I think I also have access to it through Amazon Prime. But if again, not, we can cast from our radius. Well, computer, well, right? yeah, that too, or or mine, or you know, it just becomes a little more awkward that way. But I'm just saying, like we have yeah, options. We it's have not options. Like we are. Right, yeah, it, it's not like we're optionless. So no, don't don't hear it. I'm not saying. Um, but that that does that does raise the raise the question of you know how how do you gift stuff like that? I mean, you get somebody like a Netflix, Netflix gift certificate or something like that. That's that's but certainly been appreciated in the past too. Um, yep. Because you can't uh, you know. All right, now we're getting into rant territory, particularly one that needs to go over to cord killers. Uh, I. As we've moved away from DVDs, it kind of irks me that there's no good way to get a movie without getting the service the movie is on. Like, it, I, I, can't, I can't just get The Witcher. I would love to watch The Witcher season one, but I don't want to. I don't want to re-up my Netflix subscription just for The Witcher. Well, I have the same problem with Wheel of Time. I mean. mm -hmm. and, and and uh and the cow uh yeah Cowboy Bebop. Well, I actually have Netflix, so that's not a problem. <laughs> well, no, no, but I mean, <laughs> you, you get the problem. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. You know the 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 problem is is how do you do how do you do stuff like that when? And sometimes on those services, gifting someone like a year of subscription is a pain in the butt. Uh, yes, yeah. So so mm, that that's a that's a fun one. But yeah, I, I I miss the days that I could go down to a store and and just get the movie or the season on a medium and wrap it up and give it 
or even if I just wanted to get it for myself, like, uh, you know, I, I never wanted to get the sci-fi channel added to my cable package, which was really hard since I didn't have a cable package to begin with, but I still wanted to watch, uh, Stargate. So I'd wait until the end of the se season, then go buy the DVDs and binge watch the DVDs, which is great. But we get to the point now where, uh, you can't buy the boys. You have to have Amazon Prime. You can't buy The Witcher. You have to have Netflix. And, and so it goes with everybody trying to kind of hold on to that IP. I'll have to cut that part out, and because that 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 that's not a that's not a gift part. That's a. <laughs> that's a that's cord a rant part. That, that's a cord killer's rant, not a not a not a tech gift part. Uh, although I guess I, I guess we circle back around to it. Kind of is if you count uh, giving media as as a gift, because that you know you can't uh, you can still buy CDs and give music. Mm -hmm. Although Ooh, or although there is huh a retron. A retron, like those cut those all in one console things. Oh, oh, oh! If you want to talk about giving like retro stuff? Okay, yeah. So where where you get the the retro NES console and yeah, well they've got a few now that like come with like five different types of consoles and games in them. So you yeah, get like no, one no, thing, no. But it's got, I like, I, I was just games. I I I was just deeply bothered that the Atari and Nintendo that I have are not or had well no have it's in storage uh are retro now sorry it's because we were born in the late 1900s <laughs> we are from a I... century back on <laughs> thanks Pong's more on an emulator. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're 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 not gonna go to Pong either. I I just uh, like that was one of the weirdest controllers. Oh, the Pong controller. Yeah. No, I I just remember spending a lot of time on pole position on the Atari and Cubert and uh, <laughs> uh, pole position. Ooh, I have another gifty idea. Okay. So what about parents of younger teens or even like middle-aged teens, depending on what level of tech, tech access they want to give them, who want to give them options for recording and stuff, but don't oh. want to be like, ooh, here's a completely unlocked iPhone. Good luck with that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have some friends who are parents who have that problem. Like their teen wants to get into that kind of thing. Talking about they... something like a little digital video deal like this yeah something yeah exactly something like that that way the kids can record can do stuff but they're not being given 24 7 access to the internet because <laughs> i've got some friends that they don't give the kids access to the internet when they're not around yeah. like they can do it when they're in the house but they want to be able to pop their head and be like hey what you doing yeah uh Which well i'm not hating on like <laughs> no 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 because e even even troy hunt was uh <laughs> i forget what the search was uh, all, all I remember is that he was searching for, oh, Rode. Uh, he was looking for the official Rode Twitter account to write them about his experience with one of their products. And, um, well, when he searched Rode... The first tweet that came up had a video involving riding, just not of the equestrian variety. Ouch. And nothing, nothing even closely related to a microphone vendor. Um, 
And <laughs> the, to to circle it back around to why why that even got brought up in the first place, it, that's when he went, oh yeah, that's why I don't give my kids free reign on uh, the internet just yet. <laughs> Exactly. So, like, if you've got a kid who wants to, you know, make videos of them skateboarding with their friends, but you want to make sure that they only have access to the upload and download part of that feature when yeah. you're around, you know, yeah. giving up a camera like that and saying, go out and play. <laughs> go see the real world and still have interaction with a uh, positive interaction with technology. What is this positive interaction of which you speak? I know, it's blasphemy according to the world today, but. Three stairs. Three blocks. So I think that could be definitely yeah, a that, good that gift. that could definitely be a good gift. Or even to take somewhere like, you know, where it's a more remote location and you're probably not going to have signal for like hikers and backpackers and stuff like there's still benefit to having something that's not completely tethered to your phone I will say it's also a lot easier to be a little bit more unplugged when I'm using my actual camera versus a phone camera yeah you don't have to worry Cause... about uh, you know uh, stuff popping up and uh, Twitter mm -hmm. notifications and not even just that, it's the lack of distraction. Like, my Instagram button isn't two inches to the right, you know? <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of nice to have a space that is, when I'm using it and I'm out and about, that it's just me and the camera and not anything else. Oh, you Not the extra layers of stuff. When when you say key finder, are you talking about like the the little uh, uh, air tag type deals, where you you put the the little device on your on your keychain and your phone helps you find it? That we didn't get Reyes because she also loses her phone as much as her keys and often at the same time. <laughs> no, this is Beach Duck. A key finder for her is her spectacles. Ooh, that was. That was whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like I, I don't I don't know what to do with that one. Ah, <laughs> uh, you move on quickly. <laughs> That's what you do. Wow. You That's all. That's all. <laughs> wow. Like Ooh, what about things? It's not tech itself, but kind of. What about things like the grid that you have and stuff? Uh, which grid? The one with the, all the little strappy things to organize. Oh, your oh, tech. oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. I I don't know that I ever really thought about that. Of course, I don't I don't use the the grid as much as I do. Um, I had to get all the loose stuff out. Uh, this kind of deal where it's got straps and pockets and things. It has pockets. And, and I, like that one that I held up is the one that I that I keep in my in my bag all the time because it's got all the chargers and whatnot that I need. Oh, Ooh, wire that's wraps. A good one, Pinky. Yeah, that is a good one. Um. Or even just, you know, some of the braided cable varieties, too. Yeah. Because, uh, like, like a couple of the charging cables that I have are braided. Uh, some of the audio cables that I have are braided. And they don't they don't suffer from a lot of that, that issue. Ooh, USB extension cords. Uh, I, I would definitely say that if you're going to give somebody a USB-powered device... Getting them the you uh, an extension cord to go with it is uh, probably a smart, smart move. And kind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I 
That is definitely a kindness. That, that is definitely a, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, extension cords. That's a good, like, utilitarian, like, extension cords are the modern day sock. Well, like, one, one of the headphones that I have has this ridiculously short audio cable. So e even if you're looking at that, looking at the, the cable length of what you're getting, so that way, you, you know, you, you're not giving them something so ridiculously short, they can't, uh, they can't make use of it. Yeah. Hmm, wireless chargers. Uh, that does depend a lot on what equipment they have, though. Uh, if they don't have something that accepts wireless charging, that's going to be a little less helpful. Why did I have... Oh, oh, to cover all that stuff up. Okay. And honestly, I, I'm I'm not at a place where I would readily recommend wireless chargers just yet. They're almost there, just not not just yet. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, mostly because you, you've got to have your positioning uh, stupidly precise in order for to get the the benefit from them. Sounds like a very pointed question, Beach Duck. Yeah, yeah. I, I was trying to figure out where, where that was going because, uh, uh, yeah, it's called competition in, in an open marketplace. That makes your internet better. Um, everywhere that Google tried to to move uh, their their broadband service, suddenly experienced an uptick in. Uh, in quality for the same price. I mean, it's weird like that. <laughs> Just one of the one of those crazy things. Like nobody nobody understands. think of what else would be a good tech gift well, and that's been that's been the struggle you know trying to figure out what uh what works and what works well did i set that up right i think i did although i wonder if i blocked too much light all right let me go let me go test this out Ooh, what about like st basic things like screen protectors or a custom case? Ooh. Although that is definitely something to to consider when you're when you're selecting, uh, like when when you're when you're trying to get a tablet for somebody, making sure that there is a de a decent selection of cases and maybe even you know packaging a case in there too. Uh, same ditto for the screen protectors. Ooh, I've got one. Mm -hmm. Classes or books? Ooh. Like a subscription to like Skillshare type stuff or something like that. Because sometimes when you give somebody a tech gift, they may or may not have the know-how to use it well. Like out the gate. That's... That's fair. So getting them resources to use it better, be it like 
getting i mean I, there are a couple of people at work that like not in a ironic way but like in a genuine like they're trying to better their computer skills and in the industry i work in now most of the people i work with dig in the dirt professionally as opposed the, to those unprofessional world. dirt diggers. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Like, it, it's not it's not an organic part of their life. Yeah. yeah. So it, there are a lot of things that I intuit very, relatively easily. And they're like, well, I, you know, I could never be, you know, as good as computers at you. And it's like, no, nah, you totally could. I just, I do it all <laughs> the time. And also, I'm not that impressive, but... For serious, uh, like you, 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 just you don't, practice. you don't, you don't give yourself enough credit on that one. Eh, either way, it it's still, I think, you know, getting someone classes or books or resources for their devices or how to get better at their devices now, could be a cool. Thing. Here's the follow up on that. When we're talking books mm -hmm. for this sort of thing, are we talking actual? Paper books or ebooks or looking to see who has both? I think it depends on the person. For example, Beach Duck I know actually uses the like Excel book that we got her and stuff like that. Yeah. Because she likes to write notes in them and take notes and all that stuff. So for someone like that, sure, there. But I don't know that I would often buy you a paper book. That I expected you to use. I buy you paper books to be pretty on a shelf. Because you read them digitally more often than not. Okay, that's fair. Whereas for me, it kind of depends on what the resource is. Okay. I no. like a good paper book, but I mean, I'm also really appreciating that there were a lot of those business trips where I had that paperweight <laughs> and was able to load like 50 books and yeah. I had options. Yeah, that that's one of the things that uh, Throt's been going on lately too, is the, on the one hand, it's hard to use digital reference books especially if you're going back and forth between a bunch of different things on the other hand it's really hard to carry 20 reference books with you yeah <laughs> and and so you know uh, even even mark gunger who's a pastor out in wisconsin has been you know going <laughs> I have on my iPad a library that schools 20 years ago would have killed to have. Yeah. And it fits in my coat pocket. Yeah, so it depends on who. And some people might do better with, like, the Skillshare or downloadable class kind yeah. of concept and other people don't learn that well in that medium. So again, kind of depends on your person. Uh, since we're, since we're talking about that, what about digital music lessons? Because I know, I know that is also a, uh, that is also a thing. Yeah. But is it a thing that is uh, that is worth worth giving as a gift? That is a really hard one because yeah, I feel I, I feel very <laughs> conflicted about this, and I I suspect we're on the same wavelength on this one. Because on the one hand, at the end of the day, just like anything else that is a manual skill. There are certain aspects of it that you're going to learn better in person. Like, just yeah. point blank. That's how it is. That being said, though, there are some teachers who do an amazing job digitally. Well, I, I, was, I not... was even thinking of something like uh, Rob Scallon's Guitar Quest. You know, where, where it is a digital course provided by... Um, it, 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 it's not a, it's not an individual teacher. Yeah. You know, you're not sitting there with Rob each day. I think those are good for someone who has a 
even the, the broadest superficial understanding of the subject mm -hmm. matter. Uh, just because you have to have you, they don't they advertise that you don't, but in at least my experience, you do have to have some level of knowledge to make really good use of those. Okay, uh, for the most part. So I feel like that's one of those things. If you've got someone who's they're new ish to the topic, but not like. I've never, I don't even know which end of this instrument to pick up. I think they would make good use of that. But if it's someone who's like, literally, I don't know which way to hold it. That person might do better with at least an, a virtual class with somebody. With an actual instructor. With an actual human being. Yeah. Well, Is that fair? Yeah. Uh, that That's actually really close to where I was going to go. I just wanted it to not come from me this time. Because I've ranted about oh, it a okay. couple times in the past. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, like, just, yeah. I've seen it too much, especially because I did work at a place that did music like that, and eventually, because of, you know, unfortunate life circumstances, had to transition into digital services. Yeah. And th there, there were a lot of students who just were not the ideal student for that environment. And some teachers and you that were not that outing. ideal for oh, that environment yes. either. Uh, <laughs> not, that too. Not everybody's cut out to do online training. And I'm not just talking about the receiving end. It, it is its own very unique skill set with its own very unique uh, concerns and issues. Yes. Ooh, label makers. Well, label of makers. Of course you like the suggestion label makers. I love a good I label maker. I might throw in a 3D printer while we're at it. <gasps> yes. Uh, I, are, are, are we reaching the point where we're kind of stretching, stretching the budget aspect of this? You don't know what somebody's budget is. Don't presume. Someone could want to give me a 3D printer. <laughs> or people. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know their budget you don't know them well I mean if we're talking about giving it to you yes I know all the budgets involved <laughs> <laughs> hey Wooly how you doing <laughs> I mean yeah cause that and and that's really that's really part of it too is, is what you know it's one thing to start talking about gifts and things but uh gifts at what budget level cuz that does that changes a lot of things too uh we're having fun the topic is uh good technology gifts generally speaking, uh, for the holidays. Yeah, because Daily daily Tech News Show is looking for recommendations from the audience. I was going to record one myself and then uh, post over in the Discord a link to a clip of this chat with us going around because I kind of figured a few of them were going to be we're going to be of the, uh, well, <laughs> how how much budget are we talking about on this one type variety? Or, you know, caveats. Like, again, I I really like the Kindle Fire 10 Pro that I got, and I'm specifying the Pro. Um, however, comma, part of the reason why I am enjoying it is I, I went and side-loaded the Google Play Store. Uh, so, you know, that that's one of those... That, that's one of those caveat type, well, you know, it depends. Ooh, a multi-purpose pen? Like, like when, when you say multi-purpose pen, um, yeah, yeah, we, we mentioned the Fitbit. Uh, Beach Duck has a Fitbit Versa 3. I've got a Fitbit Versa 3, and they have been absolutely fabulous. Uh, I mean, we, we, we've we 
we've talked a lot about Kindles because again that that's a that's a good good go all around, particularly the uh, the the regular Kindle Paperwhite, the e-ink versions. Uh, I got to admit, I spent a lot of time reading on my e-ink at night. Uh, they are durable. You can fall asleep in bed with them and not kill them. Um, <clears throat> not, not, yeah. Not speaking personal experience or anything. No, 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 of course not. Of course not. And I, I, I guess part of it too is, well, you know, what, what, which, which gadgets, uh, are, are there, are there any really good, like, um, just fun off the wall tech gadgets that you've gotten that kind of like, oh, oh yeah, that's, that's fun. That, that's just fun. It serves no purpose. Tamagotchis but to be... are back. Are they really? They are. Are they? Like, like yeah. I, I, I kind of thought some, I kind of thought some things should really have, you know, stayed in the nineties. And don't hate. Don't hate. I didn't like them the first time around. Well, they're back. Apparently. <laughs> and they're tech, and they're cute. So, yeah. Oh, I wonder if that means Furbies are going to come back. Oh, don't, don't eat, don't even. Why, why would you? No, no, we, we, we don't need, we don't need Furbies. I, I, I know, although <laughs> I, I know, I know somebody tried something very similar to those with cloud pets and uh, go read Troy Hunt's article to see how that went. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, the Tetris lights. Yeah. And they have some Minecraft ones, so there are like mm -hmm. some novelty kind of things like that. Yeah, everything like bell bottoms and uh, clogs and. The you go. There you go. Wait. Okay. Oh, there you go. I thought you said the you go was coming back, and I was like, nobody wanted that the first time around. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's like, what I thought who? it said. I was like, what? <laughs> who? Who? Oh, who, who, I what? love Teddy Ruxpin. The new oh. one looks demonic, though. Like, literally <laughs> satanic. Yeah, and I, I don't think he was coming with a cassette deck in his chest anymore. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Kids ask your parents. Although I don't know, I, I is a cassette deck one of those things that I have to actually say? Kids ask your grandparents. Like, I mean, are we at that <gasps> point? Don't you speak that blasphemy? <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or is that when we start talking about you know an actual album? No, no, because yeah. vinyl well, never, no, vinyl that, never left. Back. Vinyl's back. Vi vinyl, well, I don't think vinyl ever left. Not, not for the audio purist, which that's fair. you know, in order to enjoy it in its best, but in most, did. yeah. <laughs> but that's another good one. That's a tech gift, like you know, get mm -hmm. a record player, Ooh. some old school records. Yeah. That that's kind of that's kind of also in keeping with the um, the the retro gaming console idea too. Oh, or plushies of tech things. Is that, oh, does that really count as a tech gift though? I mean, is that is that is that one of those things that belongs as a as a recommendation on a tech news show? You know, go go well get done. go get your uh, go go get your Tango Tech plushie or iJevin or whoever makeshifts working with uh, this go round. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold a couple of things up behind you in a second, and oh, I, no. I'm gonna ask the community if any 
person who would call themselves even remotely tech interested would not love to have these items. Oh no. Here we go. <laughs> Rubber ducks. Well, I mean, depend depending on the friend you're getting them for, you could always get them a USB rubber ducky. Although, <laughs> yeah, the keyboard caps came up. Okay, here we go. Uh, what, what do you what do you have over my head? Oh, oh, baby, doo -doo 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 -doo. baby, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> um. Does anybody even know Dust Puppy? Because, like, user-friendly stopped posting comics uh, many years ago. And I don't I don't know that it ever... Uh, I don't know that it's still... Well, okay. The, the Nightmare Before Christmas is uh, more a you thing. <laughs> okay. Monty Python hasn't really gone out. Um, speaking of Monty Python... Apparently, for Cord Killers, one of the retro movies they decided to watch was uh, Time Bandits, which was made by many, but not all, of the original crew from Monty Python. And it is, it is, uh, it, it's, it's a bad acid trip is what it is. Like, you, you finish watching, and, and it's, wait, what, what, what did I just watch? Ooh, keyboard caps, waterproof yep. speakers. Those are awesome. <laughs> Ooh, what uh, about um, like logos or... Wa waterproof keyboard covers for when you spill your coffee on it. Yeah. But what about like <laughs> backdrops for recording? Ooh, yeah, like the green screen? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Like getting people some cool custom or just pretty backdrops would be nice. Mm -hmm. Or sound insulation. Okay, <laughs> please love your friend who is into recording and get them sound insulation. <laughs> uh, poor sound insulation is one of our problems currently right now. Not gonna lie, like that. That's definitely that's definitely one of our. Uh, I, I got to keep this right up here so that way I can keep the gain down low enough that uh, you're, you're not picking up everything around the corner I'm sitting in. It is modestly frustrating. So, like, you can't go wrong getting anybody who does any kind of recording sound insulation. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that's usually a pretty safe... pretty safe go. Whoever they are, I promise they don't have enough that do so I, I guess you know if you can find a good a good webcam like the like the Logitech C930 or uh, Brio or something along those lines yep that that could work okay. if uh, if that's something that that they're getting into and appropriate um Do not if if you if you love your friend, do not get them a blue yeti. I know it's on the top of everybody's recommendation list, but you can hear a yak sneeze from a mile away because those things are stupidly sensitive. So what what's when you say cooking gadgets, what sort of cooking gadgets are you referring to? That, that would kind of count towards the tech end of things, like uh, smart rice cookers type deals, uh, the smart ovens. I, I know Sarah Lane did a trial of one of the smart ovens, and Tom already owned one of the others, and they both said that they have enjoyed it. Uh, it's not an unmixed, you know... Like, th there, are some, there are some quirks and issues and things that you need to remember... But, you know, for the right person, it'll work out pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, this is tech-ish. Um, 
Well, are we getting into tech adjacency? Well, these chicks doing that. <laughs> um, well, no, the, the, you'll get it once I say it. Okay. Um, it doesn't sound tech initially, but merch from whoever their favorite things are, like whoever their favorite streamers are or anything, like supporting the people who are putting out the content oh. that they love, like okay. A, it'll be a good personal gift, but to be fair, supporting content creators. So is like also a gift into itself. Going to the Daily Tech News Show store and buying a mug. Exactly. <laughs> like, it doesn't sound tech in and of itself, but it is yeah. supporting tech content creators to make more content to produce more tech. So it kind of comes full circle. That's fair. Oh, when you say electric thermometer, you're talking about, like, the the wireless remote one that Mr. Beach Duck uses when he's... Uh, oh, yeah that, yeah, that was a good one. That That was a good one. For the person who loves to cook in your life. <laughs> and now we're edging into the territory that uh, the new show, uh, Barbecue and Tech, is getting into. Where they're getting into a, a lot of the, the smart cookers and smokers and auto feeders. And, you know, if it, if it deals with cooking and grilling and that sort of thing, uh, they're covering it in their show. It, it came about from uh, Experiment Week that they did at DTNS. And uh, so if you're into cooking, that it is a really good show. I, I listened to the one that they did on Experiment Week. Um, I have not followed up on it, but that's mostly because th that's not quite my jam. Pun not intended. I, I didn't even think it, that there was a pun involved until after I said that. I feel like I should apologize for that pun. No, I shouldn't. Just let it die quietly in the night. <laughs> well, where's the fun in that? Or what about like some kids tech? Like um, mm -hmm. one of the ones that I was looking at for one of my friends is like one of those. Uh, it's like a caterpillar, but it's a code caterpillar. So like it teaches really, really fundamental coding. Oh, concepts. okay. I, okay. Uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I was like code caterpillar. Like. I mean, I've heard of some code, you know, kids coding type uh, stuff, but I, I don't remember a, a code caterpillar. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's got all the little like components of like really basic coding, and okay. you you make the little caterpillar go, you know, the direction you want it to, and okay, like that kind of stuff. Uh, that can be a lot of fun for kids. And same thing, give them something, because I know I have a lot of friends who are not in and of themselves tech savvy, so they get a little leery of tech gifts, mm -hmm. but also they don't want their kid to struggle with tech the way they do, so they're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place there. So something that's physically, tactically interactive, not just staring at a screen, but is still teaching them really good, fun, educational, and tech-related concepts can make those yeah. parents who are kind of in the in-between space feel a little more comfortable with the tech gift. Okay, yeah. Because I have a lot of friends who... They don't want somebody to just get their kids another screen to look at. And I guess that that is uh, that is the flip side to some of the the tech gift type stuff is trying to trying to figure out that part of the that part of the balance as well. You know, because on the one hand, you want you want to give a good gift, something that's going to be used, and but you also don't want to contribute if there there's a problem in that particular arena. Mm -hmm. So getting something like that or some of like the science kits and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm 
that can be a way to get them something tech, something really like mentally stimulating and engaging without getting them just another screen or something where at least they have to build the screen before they can use it. Like one of those little project kits where they, they give you um, all the components to assemble a particular thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and please be kind to your parent friends. If you get your friend's kid a thing that needs a battery, don't have that kid open something on Christmas morning and those parents <laughs> not have batteries in their house. Be your friend. Buy batteries. Uh, I, I thought that was actually going to go into a different place because, uh, you know, th this that advice is also coming from the same person who's going to get somebody the most glittery, the most glittery. Well, yeah, because I'm not going to do that to the kid. <laughs> like, can you imagine being a kid and like your aunt or uncle got you the coolest tech gift something ever? And mom or dad has to go, oh, sorry, kiddo. We We're don't have out batteries. of double A's. Yeah. And the stores aren't open until X, Y, or Z time. <laughs> if they're open at all. Exactly. So, like, yeah, do them a favor. Make sure the kid can play with the toy. <laughs> ah, I don't need it. Uh, yeah. Follow the sage advice of most of my nieces and nephews' favorite aunt. <laughs> Make sure they can play with the toy. I thought that's because you actually talked to them and knew what they liked. Well, that, that might have something to do with it, too. That's a whole different di conversation if we want to dive uh, into. True. True. I guess the robot vax could work too. That is a tech device. <sighs> That's a wonderful tech device. That's a happy tech device. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah. No, I did have to worry about that. I don't want the cows getting out. Look at that. It's a mushroom family. There's some baby mushrooms. Oh, it's a baby. I need to figure out how to get these guys struck by lightning so I can get a couple of the brown ones too. That That's not a kind thing to say. That's the only way I can get a brown mushroom. I can't travel to a different mushroom island. Hmm. Yeah, the robot vacuums can work. Um, where did the other pig go? Is he stuck up there? Hmm. Imponderable questions. I guess we kind of, I guess we kind of hit the uh, hit the end of that. I mean, you know, you, you yeah. can you can always do the the TVs and monitors, and you can never have enough monitors. Uh, although, make sure their computer can actually handle more before you go buying them more. Um, yeah. Oh, if you're buying gifts for somebody who's getting into streaming, uh, my cable's not long enough for one of these little stream decks. Uh, this has been this has been a gem. Uh, six buttons, since you can do folders and menus and nest commands and stuff, seems like it should be enough. You'll note the phrasing. <laughs> it does seem like it should be enough. It it's not. 
it, it really isn't. Uh, I, I kind of wish I had saved up enough to get the the next the next size up for the stream deck. Although that is also that is also me. So fair warning on that front. But a stream deck is a nice one, and they're not too expensive. Well, the small ones aren't too expensive. Uh, any 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 specialty gifts that you can think of, like if they're into dot dot dot. Yeah, you know, like the focus. Oh, I mean that. <laughs> I mean. The, the, the Focusrite audio interfaces are great for musicians and streamers. Uh, both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not not just for live streamers, but also musicians too. Um, actually, I should say that the other way around, because really that's what they were developed for at first, was for the, for the musicians in the group. Oh, I mean, man. we could get like so incredibly niche with that conversation, like. Yeah, and and I and, and yeah, I'll, I'll back off of that cliff because they they really were trying to find, um, more things that just about everybody needs. Yeah, yeah, the 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 kinds of things that you give to a general audience about general things. Like, I mean, if you have friends who are, you know, have their conceal and carry, there's tons of cool tech related to yeah. that. Like, there are so many places you could go if they have, like, a niche kind of interest. But generally speaking, like, we go back to everybody needs power for their devices. The squid is a great, general, really solid utilitarian gift that you know they're going to use. That is loved. <laughs> and lost. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or, or borrowed. Or stolen. Or, or, or borrowed. Or borrowed indefinitely by a duck. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no, those are mice. Um, when it comes to recommending mice, circling back on that one, since the thought just occurred to me, um, do you recommend the multi-button mice? Or the simpler the better or is this going to be another one of those you really got to know who's receiving the gift it really depends on who's receiving the gift because you would think that i am at the tech level that i would want multi-button and but no <laughs> two in a wheel I, 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 that's I, how a mouse was made <laughs> that's how it was designed that's how it's intended to be used Too clicky in a wheel. End of story. <laughs> Sorry, because uh, you know my mice came back up again, and, and you know, of course, I I got the well, it's not wireless anymore because uh, I had trouble with the wireless. Uh, I got which I just remembered as I tried to pick up the trackball to show for the camera. Uh, it's okay. Too clicky in a wheel. <laughs> And I just remember. That's all that there I, needs I, to be. I just remember you sitting at my desk, going, "Which button's the one?" <laughs> Sorry. Two clicking in a wheel. Two. That's it. Yeah, music for the pool. Uh, yeah. Heck, any waterproof headset, that kind of stuff, for if you got an aquatic person in your life. Yeah, although water, some of the waterproof stuff is... Waterproof adjacent? Well, that too. Uh, I, I was going to go with, uh, it's a little bit of a mixed bag, because I, I remember when I was coaching a swim team, uh some of the some of the waterproof headphones that I had bought um they didn't they didn't last as long uh 
of course, this was back in the day when 32 megabyte uh, MP3 player was a, a hot, a hot find. So, I mean, I mean, you just held my 512, and that was huge <laughs> for its time. <laughs> Like, when you guys got that for me, that was, like, I couldn't imagine having that much music. Uh, so, so they are, they are a little bit better beach duck. They're, they're not quite as, uh, as, as sad as they used to be. The, the waterproof headphones, because I, I know that for a while there, that it was not, uh, you know, I mean, it looked like a good idea. It sounded like a good idea. But it was not, not such a good idea. Does an espresso machine count as tech? I... Uh... How did we get from water waterproofs <laughs> to an espresso machine? <laughs> I, really? I, I'm do you sorry. Really do this? The, the, this, you really this, do this? this conversation shifted without a clutch, and I am lost. I, <laughs> I think I stripped a gear. <laughs> do you really want to go there? Do you Do you really want to try to follow the path? I mean, no, and maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, does morbidly curious count? <laughs> <laughs> morbidly curious can be a thing. <laughs> like, I mean. All right, all right. Come on. L let me have it. All right. Okay. Let, let me brace so... myself. <laughs> okay. So swimming brought me to work out workout brought me to people who go to the gym a lot people who go to the gym a lot brought me to one of my colleagues who brought me to coffee who brought me to an espresso machine because we could get should get one of those for work <laughs> okay and so we got there <laughs> okay <laughs> so that's how we got there but it happened like two seconds. It didn't happen that slow. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how are you going to fit all this list in 30 seconds? Oh, I'm not fitting the whole list in 30 seconds. I, I, okay. I again, I was planning on doing a a single recommendation that seemed to be the best encapsulation and then and then uh going and we had a longer discussion okay because <laughs> yeah there, there there's no way you're you're no no not gonna happen Well, there we go. There's the broader recommendations. Yep. <laughs> uh, it's only what There's a two... There's like an hour of list. It's it's only what, a two-hour clip? I mean... Exactly. If you can't find what you need in that, then, then you know, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, wasn't Pink Geek asking for gift ideas? There you go, Pink Geek. Yeah, but I, I think she was looking more for specific gift ideas not not general gift ideas oh okay yeah I, I don't I don't think we helped her out 
And as I, I tried to explain, help isn't in the budget this year. I'm sorry. Hey, I have more base than when you last saw my base. <laughs> well, I hear it's all about that base. No trouble. And I've got a shelter over my peoples. Nice. Yeah, that, that turned out to be a more important feature of my base than I was expecting. Having having a roof. Oh, it made it a little dark in here. Yeah, yeah, it does. It looks kind of creepy now. <laughs> uh, I, I think Beach Duck is handing out uh, a contender for the least subtle hint. I, I, I hope she does settle him. Yeah, sometimes. Who? Look. Three, five. What? Oh, trying to see how many. She if you had the eight sheep you need yet or not? Um, no, not yet. But I haven't tried breeding them yet. Have Have you measured? the the distance from your pigs to your chickens no because the challenge needs Why? to be in a 40 block radius so it might be worth figuring out if when you stand in the center Unless you want them closer just for the challenge and then put them back in their proper place. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Paintings of ducks? Yeah, for my own part, uh, I might need to see if one of your co-workers will let me borrow a writing table and a uh, bandsaw. Or if I can go to their home workshop and use a routing table and a bandsaw. I can ask him. Yeah, no, I wouldn't ask just yet because I, I got to figure out if I'm going to actually go down this route or not. Okay. Um, why did I come down here? All right. I don't know. I don't know either. I, I think we, we've re well, no, we started with my brain broken and, and but did you see? I have, like, more base. Yeah, I saw. It's nice. Oh, no, Beach Duck. I know you have tools. Um, <laughs> do, do, do I ever know? <laughs> do I ever know that, yeah, that, that, that somebody over there has that particular problem well in hand? Or has had a hand well in that problem? Or Addiction? What? Hmm? What? I, I don't know. Okay. So do I want to move that into there or leave it here? I also have plenty more room for people to spawn. Oh, like one of those wandering idiots that I can't seem to get to spawn over here. I'm actually kind of surprised mm -hmm. none of them have spawned uh, during during this during the live stream. That's fair because they have plenty of space to do so. They they've got plenty of space on all three of our islands. Um, hmm, that's weird. Jeez, I, I gotta silence you too. I mean, I need to get more llamas. How am I gonna get more llamas if they don't show up? I need more leads. <laughs> oh, that that that's not a problem. 
Uh, matter of fact, I, I can have your lead problem solved in just about two seconds. Yeah, but I also need wheat. No, no. I mean, I could help you with that one, but I might not. Do I have all the creatures I need for the creature challenge? I feel like I need something else. You need eight pigs, eight sheep, eight cows, and 16 chickens. Oh, okay. Um, well, I only have one cow, though. How do you get more cowage? Uh, one of the challenges gets you a cow. I think uh, that's how I got the one cow I have. Yeah, I can't remember which, uh, that's the mushroom. I guess that is another thing you could do. You could always get a mushroom and shear, shear them for a cow. How do I get a mushroom? Uh, a baked potato, a bread, a cake, a cooked... Uh, chicken, cooked cod, cooked salmon, cooked uh, pork chop, tropical fish, cookie, golden nut. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Who's yeah, got the, who's that's got, a lot. Who's got the cow? I should probably try the carpenter one again. With my luck, I won't get a parrot. It's a slim chance at a parrot. Oh, it's the uh, expert farmer with a bunch of melon slices, sugar cane, wheat, potatoes, carrot, pumpkin, cactus, beetroot. The expert farmer. Oh, that one was a pain in the butt. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, if you get a redstone farm that, you know, gets you lots of those things. Yeah, I also need a monster farm, so... Mm-hmm. Is it wheat or seeds that sheepies like? Wheat. That is the other part. The, those... <laughs> feeding the feeding them are gonna really dig into your wheat resources for uh for the challenge here you need some leads yes. Thank you. Whoa. It's, uh, Where did you get those? All it is is four string and a slime ball. I have a stupidly oh. overproductive slime farm, and the the piglins keep trading me string. Okay. Well, thank you. I just need a lot of wheat. Of course, you could have also taken some iron and shorn your uh, sheep and broken down the wool for string. I need eight pigs or four pigs? You need eight pigs. Although if you're just going to bring them down there, why not bring the small number down that way? And then uh, then you only have to bring the many back once. If that makes sense. That does. Because i got to make their home over there first. Ah. So I figure I'll start breeding them up slowly. Okay. I only need one more sheepy. And then you'll have your eight. Yep. And you already did the wool collector challenge, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Upgrading that melon farm has been the Best thing ever. A pumpkin farm's a little slow, though. I, I don't know if pumpkins themselves are slower to grow or or what. Of course, on the other hand, for every melon that drops, it drops anywhere from three to three to nine slices, two to nine slices, 
Whereas when the melon drops, it just, or when the pumpkin drops, it just drops a pumpkin. Fair. Nah, I think I need to make this bigger. Of course you do. How much bigger? Ooh, it's like 918. Yeah, that, that's why I was thinking about getting ready to call it a night, because I, I still have some stuff to do that I, that I normally would have done, you know, once I got home, but uh, traffic being what it was, and a certain puppy being what he was. Okay, for a second there, I thought that guy disappeared too, and I was getting ready to get really mad. Like name them. Yeah, that oh no, that that's on that's on my list too. I sleepy and sneezy and allergy. <laughs> uh I got more than seven for the for the dwarves. I I have thirteen over here. Okay. All right. Let me let me move out of the way of all the yakking villagers. I mean, I love it, but not while I'm trying to do an outro. This is where I'm going to say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, Coffee Craft is definitely every Tuesday at six thirty p.m. U.S. Eastern. Friday is normally games revisited, but perhaps been a little short on that. I hope to wrap up the Zelda series sometime in the very near future and then I will probably put it on hiatus until the new year uh, just because like life's not going to get less crazy between now and new year's uh, especially since the new 1.18 has a release date and so the coffee craft crew we all need to chat and figure out what we're going to do and when we're going to do it so on that cryptic note, let's see who's available for a raid. Oh, I hate, <clears throat> I hate it when I have hard choices. Grimly is playing Diablo 2 Resurrected, and Beast Lord J is playing Cyberpunk 2077. Let's go raid Beast Lord. He's been raiding us here lately, and uh, yeah. Uh, but for the record, either one of those two guys is well worth a follow. So as we go to join Beast Lord J, let's uh, say hello, give him a follow, and all that good fun stuff. And I will see you next time. Stick around for the raid. <laughs>